Yo, what's good guys? In this video, I'll be giving you the ultimate guide on 5M GTA. This video will be split into segments where I show you how to optimize the game for FPS, how to play without shadows, and how to also get the best crosshair settings. Alright, so first off, you want to go to your desktop, you want to go to the search bar and type in Windows Update. Once you're here, just click check for updates. This will update your Windows and make sure it's at the latest version. Now go off that. And go in the search bar again and type in percentage temp percentage this will bring up this folder this is a temporary storage file on windows you can just delete everything in here so we'll just clear up some space and make your pc run faster make sure that you clear the recycle bin as well next thing you want to do is go to the search bar again and type in background apps these are just apps that will run in the background while you're playing the game. If you don't use any of these, just disable them all. Now go back to the search bar again and just type in power. Then click power and sleep settings. Now click additional power settings. Then you want to make sure you click high performance. And you want to make sure the hard disk after settings is set to zero. Also you want the process and power management set to 100% under minimum processor state. Now just click apply and OK. Next thing you want to do is go to your Windows search bar and type in percentage app data percentage. Now it will bring you to the Roman file. Now you just want to click on app data, go back one, click local. Now you want to find your 5M file. You want to find the 5M.exe. You want to right click it, go on properties, go to compatibility. Now you just want to click disable full screen optimizations. Now you want to click change DPI settings and override high DPI scaling behavior. Then just click apply and OK. Now we're just going to do the exact same thing but for the GTA EXE. So you want to find your GTA file. You want to find the EXE and just do the exact same thing as what we did last time. Disable full screen optimizations. Take the highest scale behavior. And just click apply and OK again. Now we want to go back to the updated file again. Just the same thing in the taskbar as always. Open up this, go back one, find your 5M file, application data, you want to click cache. Now you just want to delete everything in this folder. This is just like textures from servers that you're probably never going to play on again. If you do go back on these servers, you're just going to have to download them again. Next fix is going to be for NVIDIA control panel users only. Now right click your desktop, click NVIDIA control panel. First off you just want to make sure that your monitor is at its highest refresh rate right here in this box. Once you've done that go to manage 3D settings. And you just want to copy all my settings that I have right here. These settings right here will help you get performance in other games as well. Once you've done that, you can just click apply and now we can move on to the next fix. You want to go to your Windows search bar. You want to type in GPU. This will bring up graphics settings. Now you want to go down to this box and click classic app. Now you want to browse for your game by typing percentage app data percentage. Go back one, click local, find your 5M folder. You just want to click the 5M EXE. Now just go down to 5M, click options and click high performance. You also want to do this for your GTA file as well. Just the same thing, find the EXE and set to high performance. You can also do this for any other games that you play as well. Next thing you want to do is open up Discord. You want to go down to the settings. You want to find appearance. Go down and you want to make sure all three of these boxes are disabled. Hardware acceleration, developer mode and enabled reduced motion. Back out of that. Now you want to open Google Chrome. You want to go to your Chrome settings. Right here. You want to scroll all the way down. Click advanced, 
you also want to make sure that these two boxes are disabled. Now you want to open up the 5M launcher. You're going to be waiting a little bit because we deleted the cache file. So it'll have to do a couple of updates. Don't worry about this, this is normal. Just click yes. Now once the 5M launcher is open, just find any server and join it. Once you've found your server, you want to go to advanced graphics settings. And you want to just copy all my settings. Make sure all these are off. Extended distance scaling. Got a bad PC, turn it all the way down. Now go to graphics. You want all of these off. You want everything to the lowest pretty much. Put everything on normal. Don't worry about the shadow quality being on undefined. I'll show you that in a bit. And soft shadows and softest. Post effects, make sure that's a normal. That's quite an important one. But yeah, just copy all my settings. That's about it for the performance increases. But if you want to play with no shadows and want a crosshair all the time, stay tuned. As for no shadows, you want to go to your documents folder. You want to go to Rockstar Games. Find your GTA V folder. Now you'll see the settings file right here. You want to right click, click open with and click notepad. Drag this over. Now you'll find shadow quality. You want to change the value from 1 to 0. Now just click save. Now for the crosshair settings, you want to go to this website. The link will be in the description. You want to go to download. Now you just want to click this red link at the top. This will start downloading. Now you want to open it. You want to drag it to your desktop. Now just right click and click extract here. This is just because I've already downloaded it. Now open it up. Open up this folder. You want to click the exe. Don't worry about the Coca-Cola badge. Now you want to go on Google and find a crosser that suits you. Make sure that it's a PNG file as well. Once you've got your crosser, you want to make a folder on your desktop. You want to drag the crosser to this folder. Once you've done that, you just want to open up the app again. You want to right click it, click settings. You want to click change image folder. Now just find where that new folder is on your desktop. You want to click it and then click OK. You can see it's in the bottom right of your screen. So you want to go over to size, you want to make it however big you want it. Then you want to go to location and you want to click center. What's going on guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button and drop a comment for what videos you want to see. Also, follow me on Twitter so you know when I'm dropping upcoming videos and much more. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you press that notification bell to get notified on my latest uploads. Peace out.